Kendrick was so scared that he had to take Kung Fu classes, my nigga, to call himself Kung Fu Kenny. <laughs> Kung Fu Kenny. Because he was scared, bro, of Diddy, of a 50 year old man. Heard that. It's one year since we done started. It has one year, dog. And unfortunately, we got to cover this J. Cole album. Yeah, he was, so you know, this video is private and, you know, sh and then, hey, you had to press that button to see video. So I know it was something crazy. So I was like, hell yeah. Bam. <laughs> I ain't no little Reese's Pieces with something <laughs> like a rapper or something. What's up, guys? This is your boy. This is your boy, Crispy. Got Ozzy G on the other side. Frankie Jane, the place. Man, fuck it, bro. That's what happens when. Fuck you, bro. That's what happens when 74% gets in your system, dog. Ah, uh, pause. Wait, what? Stop it. Pause. This nigga. <laughs> Um, that weak ass fucking pen, boy. Like you hitting a fucking menthol <laughs> pen from the gas station, boy. This is irrational therapy where we make your good thoughts turn to bad thoughts or your bad thoughts turn to good thoughts, whatever. We here to brighten up your day. Uh, how how y'all doing today, y'all? Everything good in the hood, like everything should be, you know. Another day, another Sunday. I ain't. It's feeling real <laughs> nice to be one of us today. Yes, sir. It's hey. real nice. I'm chilling. Uh, it's one year. One year. It's one year since we done started it has this shit. Been one year, dog. And unfortunately, we got to cover this J. Cole album. So let's get right into it. She just said, unfortunately. Come on, man. J. Cole dropped a good album. Um, you know, you know, you know who else? Uh, you know, you know some. The off season. What's up? What's up, you, Ozzy? You want to know some, Chris? It's what? better than the one Kendra just dropped. Oh, I mean, I mean, yeah. he hasn't. He hasn't. <laughs> he hasn't. And and watch him drop tomorrow. And watch it be <laughs> the rock album. And it's phenomenal. And it ends his career. It's just crazy. And and starts a new one. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a professional boxer. I haven't uh I haven't really listened to J. Cole. I heard it like tops. I was hearing it this morning, then I heard it maybe yesterday in the shower, but I wasn't really paying attention to it. Oh yeah. But uh right. I do like I do like a few songs from there. I do think uh Do you zone out in the shower? Yeah, I just be like this look. And then the water just be Really? Just making a music video in his head. Yeah, I be on there, bro. Hey, G shit, yo. I be freestyling over people and shit. Nah, I don't. I be trying to listen. But you, you didn't listen to it? <laughs> nah, I was taking a shower, bro. Fuck, I'm going to do listen and take a shower, bro. Get this much. Do you zone out in the shower? Yeah, I just be like this look. And then the water just be. Really? Just be making a music video in his head. Yeah, I be on there, bro. Hey, G shit, yo. I be freestyling over people and shit. Nah, I don't. I be trying to listen. I try to listen. <laughs> okay. Like you nah, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. It doesn't, it doesn't do that all the time. For real. And then catch your ear to be like, damn, I got to get back to this shit. This shit fire. I didn't say that. Damn. All right, Frankie. Because I'm definitely going to listen to it again. I listened to it this morning. I heard it last night. <laughs> all right, man. We got cleared up. We got cleared up. Okay, all right. So yeah, I caught my you did listen to it this again. morning. I, I did hear that. Yep. Uh, I heard yep. you listening to it this morning, too. I, I was, yeah, you, uh, I was kind of listening to you. You were listening, listening to, to it, it. Because you listened right. to it all week already. Mm. I love J. Cole. I do love J. Cole. That I, I cannot I lie about. And he's better than Kendrick. No cap. Uh, no cap. No cap, bro. No cap. I didn't listen to the album. You, you you listened to it, you no, enjoyed it. No, I didn't oh. listen to it. But you, did you enjoy it? How I enjoy it if I didn't listen to it. So you hate it, love bro. It. See, that's Greatest. the thing about you, bro. Controversy. <laughs> so you no nah, for 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 you haven't listened to anything. I heard the interlude. The interlude, you liked it? Yeah, it was pretty straight. All I, right, I I heard it when we listened to it on the show. That was when I heard what. It. What if I was to tell you that was the worst song on the album? Shit. Would you be like, damn, that's a good ass album. But is he always he rapping like this and all the time on the beat? Is he rapping like this when you get it? This is lying because it's not the worst song. It's probably one, oh, of, his best. It's oh, probably shit. one of his best songs on the album. I ain't want to say that. As, no, as far as, uh, as far as like his delivery and the wordplay he does in that. 
But after watching that freestyle that he did the on the LA Leakers, I think it was. I did not see that, but I heard it was fire. It was pretty fire. And then I I seen that let go of my hand uh like controversy or whatever all that shit. I was like, all right, maybe I should check it out. So I plan. So on. so what was the let go of the hand controversy? Oh, it was talking. About, it was talking about like a a, a scuffle that him and Puff Daddy had back in like 2013. But uh, the lyric is like the lyrics he uses. Uh, Cause my last scrap was with Puff Daddy. Who would have thought it? I bought his album in seventh grade and played it so much. You would have thought my favorite rapper was Puff. So I guess it's just him talking about um, a fight that him and Puff Daddy had uh, over Kendrick Lamar's uh, "King of New York" control verse. They go that Daddy Cole saving uh, his son Kendrick again. Back at it. So Kendrick so, can't do nothing by himself, boy. I tell you what, the punches. Is Kendrick's manager or like it's one of his label mates or whatever. He he's one of TD's bosses. Um the 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 he retweeted and responded to this one thing. It says, I can't lie, the J. Cole album is pretty good. Nothing really sounds forced, but the streets really need the Diddy and J. Cole fight to leak. And it said multiple sources familiar with the situation told complex it went down like this. First, Diddy was visibly intoxicated. He tried to confront Kendrick over the King of New York claim in his control freestyle. Diddy then allegedly attempted to pour a drink on Kendrick and J. Cole intervened. The two started arguing and Cole allegedly put his hands on Diddy, which then led to problems between the respective crews. After the brief scuffle, scuffle, both crews separated. And then Punch said, number three is false, which is Diddy allegedly attempted to pour a drink on Kendrick and J. Cole intervene. <laughs> yeah, so apparently Diddy didn't try to pour a drink on Kendrick because he, know, he knows better. But for some reason, like, J. Cole felt some way because Diddy was coming at Kendrick because of the con- because the control beat, you know? It, it so, all makes sense, This bro. is all sources. This is all sources. Yeah. It, you, all, are, it, it all makes sense. Why Diddy they, don't want to come at Kendrick, bro. No, no, no. You don't want to come at... Look, it makes sense. Kendrick was so scared that he had to take Kung Fu classes, my nigga, to call himself Kung Fu Kenny. <laughs> Kung Fu Kenny. Because he was scared, bro, of Diddy, of a 50-year-old man. Heard that. Heard that. Mm, not a good look for your boy. Why not, bro? You can't be vulnerable. And, and you can't be human. His, he showed his skills. You seen that shit at, at the concert, bro? He was showing his skills, bro. He liked that, huh? He was. He not, looked like he looked like Will Ferrell from Get Hard, bro. Oh, I'm God. not. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. But for real, for real, I, I, I think if what you're saying is true. Which I mean, it makes sense. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think it shows his his uh, his humane ability that like you could. Um, He's like, I, I guess get, coming after me. Let me fucking no. Try to kick I mean, you could face. you could get defeated by a scenario and overcome it. Like, like <laughs> life. That's what life's about. Like you you get defeated and you rise to the top afterwards. So I I, I mean, die. Ah. I don't see anything wrong with it. The goat saved the sheep. Mm. <laughs> you got mm. you gotta look. Die. My bad, dog. I heard that. I heard you right there. No, my bad. It's a pain. What? That's the pain I was talking Ken- about. Kendrick's the goat. Right? He hasn't dropped an album in five years, Chris. When did Diddy drop an album? Who? Diddy. Are we talking about Kendrick, Diddy? Kendrick didn't fight uh-huh. Diddy. Oh, I thought we were talking about like the whole Diddy because Diddy was after Kendrick because J. Cole, the goat, J. Cole was protecting Kendrick. The goat, yeah, the goat saved bruh. the sheep. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. You just said it. For, you just said it yourself. J. Cole had to protect his son. That's what you said, dog. Nah, bro. I, I, it's like it. I see it as two goats just protecting each other. There's, there's never two it's, goats in the same room. What? Yeah, bro. You never been to Diddy's house. Goats in the same room. You never been to Diddy's house. Diddy's a goat. 
<laughs> come on, bro. Man. Come on. You don't think Diddy, bro? He had his own TV show. He, he had his own label, Diggy, bro. He 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 was signed. allegedly. He signed, allegedly, he signed allegedly. Biggie, bro. Like and one killed of the him. Greatest to ever do it. And you don't think him he's killed, one of the bro. goats? And got him killed. And overcame it. Like <laughs> he killed crazy. his best friend, bro. He killed his best friend. Hi, allegedly. Allegedly. Sorry. But, allegedly, but I'm no financial <laughs> advisor. That's how but, you gotta kill Illuminati. <laughs> what if Diddy? Runs the Illuminati. Started there. Whoa. Nah. I, I, king of New York. That's why he got hot when Kendrick said that he's the king of New York. I think Diddy owns like that. Um, the gate. Uh, they, they call it the gatekeeper, but I, I call it the gatekeeper. Like, like he's a head <laughs> security at Illuminati gates or the. No, like gatekeeper. Like he, he just uh, he gets people on there. He's like, oh, I'll get you. I'll get you these seven bands if you uh, do a little something for me, baby boy, little so yachty. You're saying, so you're saying Biggie gave yeah, him that's the accusation? Uh, probably not Diddy, but everybody after Biggie. I don't know. Uh, no, nah, but uh, I th- there was this tweet from this guy, Kaz. How come when an album is bad, you can say it right away? But when you think an album is phenomenal, it's always, it's too soon. When I heard uh, that Travis Scott album, I thought it was really good. Like, like wow. Mm. That was a very good uh, album. What, which one? Um, the one he dropped with, uh, with all them fucking fire ass songs. <laughs> I don't fucking know the name, dog. I don't give a fuck Astro about World. that nigga. A- Astro yeah, World. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Astro <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that nigga, fuck dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Astro Girl, that shit was fun. Nah, that's Ast- phenomenal album. Yeah. You got the first. The first time I heard that album, I, I was you were like, I, "Wow, this is phenomenal!" Right? Steve, that shit was good. I, like that Benny I, the Butcher album, the one that he just dropped. Mm, that shit was pretty good too. Yeah, like that one. I'm like, "Hey, this is a good one. This is a good one." And then with fucking, that, with that whole Astro lot of red. Uh, Whole lot of red was fucking terrible. Terrible. Look at terrible. Chris. Look at Chris. I, mean, I know a lot of people are saying that it's fire. No, but yeah, let, yeah. let's get back to the Astro I'll World. Hold up. All these people. Astro World, cause cause we did that that was like one of the last times I was I set a night for this album to come out. That was weird, but I, I, I used to do that. I was that involved with music, but now it, we're, it's been it's been COVID and shit, so nobody's even dropping any. Like it's, it seems like everybody's dropping inside music, and whenever Khaled did it like a couple weeks ago, we kind of brushed it off because we thought, ah, oh, like J Cole's coming, he's gonna give us some, or like like the future's coming. So like maybe what these artists are gonna give us from now are just inside music, like like they they don't. They've been inside with us, so it's not like they could. They've been making party music. Like they haven't been partying unless they probably are uh, Playboy Cardi or I, I don't even think Travis Scott has it in him to make party music right now. Maybe. I don't know. He was just in the club like a few nights ago, so maybe that's why he had to get inspiration. But I just think I just think it's interesting that like J. Cole has this certain uh, I'm it's not new because he's done it before, but it's just no hype music. I wonder if that's a reason. If it is because of Corona. No hype like like uh, Kendrick's DNA or Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe, like that kind of hype. Mm. Well, let, 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 let's keep it to like J. Cole. Like I was comparing it to like Fire Squad. Or like he didn't have. Camp. But I thought we were talking about Astro World. Well, yeah. I asked, but Astro was the last time I was that hype for a for an album. Oh. Like I like I went Kennedy. home. I was like, "Yo, Travis Scott just released an album." Like I think he released it like at ten o'clock that night or something like that. And I I kind of predicted a lyric, and I was like, I was hype after that, yo. But okay. um, but yeah, 
I don't know. Hold on. I want to see what time. When when do you think that Astro Road came out? What what year was that? That was uh, uh, 2017 or 2018. Yeah. What is it? What'd you say, Chris? 2018. Uh, release date. Yeah, 2018. What year? When was Damn? That was 2016. <laughs> 2009. I want to say 2017. So you weren't hyped for that one. <laughs> 2009. Yeah. You were you hyped for that one? Yeah. Damn. I was really hyped, but that's what I'm saying. Like it's calmed down uh, dramatically. Like probably even the Schoolboy Q album. I'm a huge TDE fan. Like I I went to a lot of their concerts, and even the Schoolboy Q album that I dropped, I think last year or whatever, uh, Blank Face, it it was underwhelming for me. So it put me. It didn't make me more excited for what what the future held. Uh, held but we're here. We're in the future. Drake's at top. Nothing we could do. Uh, like Pop Smoke's album. Not like Lil Reese. That guy's on the floor. Yeah, he's good. I don't know where the fuck that is, Lil Reese Cup. Bro, how did you even find out about this guy? I was just scrolling through fucking Facebook and I said, look at Lil Reese. And I said, uh, it, 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 uh, <laughs> like, Lil Reese. I, I, I mean, all I see, no, no, no. <laughs> the, the only thing that got me was, you know, this video is private and, you know, sh- and it, hey, you had to press that button to see video. So I know it was something crazy. So I was like, hell yeah. Bam. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I ain't know Lil Reese's pieces was something <laughs> like a rapper or something. With his little bitch ass got fucked up, and that's what he gets too. Fuck that nigga. Oh he tried shit! To, he try to rob. He try to rob a female's car, bro. Yeah, like, I, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't movie, know like, the whole holes in his mouth, nigga, from getting fucked up. Mm-mm. Oh, dog, they got their ass beat, dog, and that's good for them. Little Reese Cup had all them fucking knots and shit. Little the headlines bitch. say, "Mino." The headlines say, "Rapper Lil Reese, two others shot." On near north side and apparent gunfight over stolen car, authorities say. There were shots. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, two others shot. shot. You see, the holes in his mouth look like he got punched. The uh, holes in his he mouth? Got, he, well, got he, had, like, he had like a, like a, like this right here was split. Like it was like off, like it was cut. Like he, he got, got uh, or, or maybe a pistol whip. Mmm. I don't think yeah, he, Lil he Reese just didn't got, look like he got shot. Lil Reese was knotted the fuck up. He was he was dripping though. Yeah, like, he was so he bad. was oozing from his shit. That's what's <laughs> up. I mean, you want to rob I, a female's car? You want to try to mm-hmm. rob somebody? You have all this. You have, you have all this money. Why are you trying to rob somebody, bro? Yeah, there was three of them. A twenty year old he got shot in the knee. Twenty eight year old, which is Lil Reese, got grazed in the eye by a bullet, I guess, and Fire. then. The, a 27-year-old was shot multiple times in the body, and he was in critical condition. I don't know his ass crack showing his shit, dog. That nigga <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> we we all know that one guy. We all know that one guy. Dog, he was like, like, he's like, I didn't even do nothing, nigga. Full of blood, ass crack showing his uh, shit. Had a hasn't took a shower in seven days. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Damn. But <laughs> y'all ain't seen the video? I haven't seen it. It, it it was uh look at all that dry blood on the door though I'm looking at the pictures that that's one thing I'm like look. damn that shit was captured on video Dodge yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna place it right here actually I don't even know if I'm, I'm gonna place it right here I was gonna it's say you got a lot of censoring it? it's gonna be Should a lot of censoring it? uh just put it on uh, on a text message How do I do um. It? I don't know the full details yet so I'm I'm not really gonna comment too much. But uh, just uh, if you do the crime, you got to fucking get shot in the face. Yeah, get shot by the nine. <laughs> now I have a feeling that he's going to get he's going to blow up after this. Like it's going to it's going to be Think some so. hell. Yeah. A fucking rapper tried to steal a car, got shot at. He's going to come back. Get shot again. It, this is uh. I don't think this is going to end well, but I think he's going to be really successful after this. We'll see. I was watching the Lil Reese video. This dude is fucked up. Oh, you seen it? I was yeah. recording this shit right now so you can see the shit. Damn, <laughs> nah, he got fucked up. That's what's up. Hell yeah, what the fuck you get? And the guy that was sitting on the ground, he was just had his arm out, covered in blood. The mom. 
You seen uh, it fuck? Oh uh, yeah, it's just split wide no. open. You seen his ass cheek? Nah, I didn't see his ass cheek. <laughs> Oh, you gotta see I it. stopped. I stopped after Lil Reese came up like this. Oh, they showed him sitting up. I didn't see that part. Yeah, that they show him sitting sitting up. Oh, see, so I got a different video then, nigga. Yeah, this is like somebody was like on the side of the road recording it. This nigga, this nigga that was all fucked up, was coming out of the fucking parking garage, dog. Like, nah, I ain't do nothing. Like, with hand all bloody and shit. Yeah, <laughs> shit, funny, dog. Like, what? It wasn't me. <laughs> And then, like, like 30 seconds later, he's, like, on the verge of crying. He's yeah. like, are you really going to get me? <laughs> I was like, wait, what? This guy's a genius. Uh, <laughs> man, that that's wild, bro. That's that's scary. It's just fire. I, I seen, I think after that video played, um, a video played after that, and it was uh, some guy backing in, like, he was backing up his truck at a gas station, and his truck almost hit a guy that was filling up. And the guy that was filling up, he was like, "Bro, what the fuck?" And the guy, and he was he didn't he didn't hit his car, but he was pretty close. And he ended up pulling out and shit. The guy went back into his car and fucking shot the guy that was driving in his leg, like just because he almost hit his car. Like, bro, this. And everything was on camera from the gas station camera, but mm. this world's wild, dog. Hey, you don't hit my whip. <laughs> Shit. He didn't hit it. But you almost did. Shit. He got a camera. That's the beauty behind. I think the people would just trust those cameras a little too much. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but yeah, Joe Button. <laughs> Joe Button, like I said, he had a. Uh, he had gave his his, uh, his label mate uh, or his co-host Rory some time to to relax or whatnot because things were getting boiling and and the podcast Mal went with him this and that they had a, a, a their podcast without him with new co-host they returned and two episodes later. Uh, after a little vacation, they already planned before they, they even planned like that split up. Uh, they returned and Mal and Rory didn't show up again. Mm-hmm. On that episode, Joe Budden was like, what a fucking surprise. They didn't fucking show up. It all boiled down to at the end. Joe Budden was like, Rory, you took a breach of your contract. Rory, as of today, you're fucking fired. Ma, I could do that to Maury if I I could do that to Rory if I want. He said all this on air. Like he he had an episode dedicated to firing these two. Fucking I'm not gonna lie, it was a fire episode. Like it was interesting. It, you had to pay a Patreon to, to watch it. He he took it to the extent was like if you start your own podcast. I will sue your ass and I own y'all for the next year. So y'all can't do anything in this business for the next year. And Mal and Rory went on to uh, Vimeo and did a response video and explained everything. And apparently it all boiled down to they had a certain contract that they were getting paid off percentages per episode. And they wanted to see uh, accounting. So Joe Budden wasn't showing that. So Joe Budden had to hire an accountant. And he said, it's going to take three months. While Joe Budden was doing the accounting with the accounter, uh, he was getting more frustrated because he feels that he was overpaying Mal and and Rory. And all my Rory wanted was basically a receipt of everything that, that, that was happening. And that's what boiled down to the resentment that Joe Budden had for Rory and Mal on the podcast. Um, all that is, it's just family business, to be honest. But my thing is, they, Mal, Mal was 
best friends with, with, with Joe. Like, Joe Budden and Mao lived together at one point. Like, Mao said, at one point, Mao had more money than Joe. Joe Budden did at one point. So, like, it, it it's really family. And and Rory, he had his own separate take on it. And the uh, little story I told y'all, who do y'all feel is in the right? For what? Probably. As, as far as... Um, I mean, just as far as as being like, you got a contract, right? You got a contract, bro. Well, no, 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 no. I, I don't mean like. I I don't think he's gonna get sued for doing that one video. They said that they're just gonna do that one video, and that was gonna be it. Like it was just a response video. But as far as them, like as far as Joe Budden taking the business over their friendship. Cause that's that that's basically what it what it boiled down to, like and, and it even boiled down to that if they even start something that he threatened to sue them because like, it's in that's, the contract. That's some bitch shit though. Like what's in the contract? Don't sign the contract. Ah, oh. true. Damn. He's being Joe Budden being a petty ass nigga. That's Joe Budden though. No. I don't I, I don't feel like I'll do that. Like. I like I, I feel like I'll make a contract, but like if it's family, like I wouldn't do that to y'all. Like I I well then again, I wouldn't make y'all sign a contract like that. But I wouldn't ask to go see the see the accounting that my money's good, then why the fuck would I ask to see the receipts? That 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 is one thing that's disrespectful. That, that that that's one thing that I had in my mind in the beginning when I first started making this podcast, like I have a certain amount of money that I, I wanna pay y'all. And like, like we have to work for it, but like, there's a certain amount that like, I know that y'all be good. I I would be ecstatic with that money if I had it and all the money is just going to go back to the podcast. And like, there's certain ways to go about that. But then again, if they were, if their contract was set up a certain way, I would understand why they would just question how much money is actually going through and whatnot. Yeah, but it doesn't but, matter if, if they're not if they're not running this shit like Joe Budden is. Joe Budden, that's Joe Budden shit. This is your shit. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. Why the fuck would I actually see your paper, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Your your, your receipts. It don't make right. no sense if you're putting in all the work for us and we out here doing it with you. Why the fuck would I ask to see the fucking the rap sheet? That yo, let I, me see what you spend money on for the pocket. Like for what? That's not my right. business. Right. I I, I think. If, if if it was getting paid off, if they were getting paid off salary, that would be the scenario. Like they they they're if they're getting paid, uh, let's say fifty thousand dollars a year. That's that's their money, whatever for for working part time, a part time job. Yeah. Um, if if they get paid off percentages, I think that's I think that's what 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 they're getting paid off of. So I think they're getting paid like five percent each episode. So Joe Budden is just giving them just money, random money. And and it even became more fishier towards the end because Joe Budden was giving them Bitcoin instead of money. And and it wasn't the certain amount of Bitcoin that that equivalated to, to the money that they were getting paid. So like let's say they were getting paid five hundred dollars an episode and he'll give them like a hundred dollars in Bitcoin. And just say, oh no, it's gonna it's gonna be five hundred dollars eventually. You just gotta let it accumulate. So like, it, it was like some of that shit that was playing off. So like, I feel like Joe Budden. I'm gonna be real. I felt like Joe Budden was letting the white devils like in his ears a little too much, <laughs> or maybe, or maybe it was just good business advice, good business structure, and. I just wouldn't be able to sacrifice uh, friendships and family over, over. Maybe business. it's all scripted. I I want to think that because that's that's what I said like when when I initially uh, reported this. But they're gonna get the bag. Hopefully, <laughs> get your memory strength up with Audible. 
I'm reading this book called Limitless by Jim Quick that teaches you how to properly hydrate your brain. It has exercises to improve your memory and recipes for brain foods and more. You'll have access to this book and more on Audible for a limited time. Click the link below and claim two free audiobooks. If you don't do this, you're playing up stupid. Now let's just start the show. Did y'all watch that Kobe Bryant, uh, the induction in the Hall of Fame? No. Mm. Not at all. No. no. I didn't um, even know was, I didn't even know what was going down. Uh yeah, it, it happened yesterday. And uh Vanessa did a, a an, an emotional speech. Was, a speech? Yeah. Yeah, that's what she did the speech from. Uh it, it was uh it was a pretty good good speech. I mean, of course, but uh it, it, like yeah, I was telling it's not gonna be a poor speech. It's Vanessa Bryant. Um Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I forgot the fuck I was gonna say. I, I didn't see uh LeBron there. Is it is it is it only like Hall of Famers that go there? LeBron was playing a game, probably. Uh um, I, know, I know you played yesterday. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Man, she, she was just going through a lot, a lot of moments and a lot of a lot of cool events that fucking Kobe did. So, just rest in peace to to the goat. And uh, he did it. He made it to to one of the greatest basketball players to ever live. Uh, so rest in peace to to the Mamba. I had no, I, I treated yeah. this I treated this one uh Remax office a couple of days ago. They had a lot of cool quotes. Like these realtors, they have a lot of cool quotes uh on their art uh for art in their offices. And I say like three of them had Kobe like Mamba mentality references on their walls. And nah, Kobe's a huge part of this world. It's it's amazing. One day, dog, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow through the water. There's a guy that bet, bet his whole house for uh, Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers to win 42 games for the season, and they were four, they're 41 and 30. Uh, mm. and they have one more, one more game, and it's against the Nuggets. Mm. Do you know that guy? No, but it was like a it was like a big story. This guy had bet his whole house on Damian Lillard, and Damian Lillard responded to him on Twitter saying, "Say less." Mm. I don't know, bro. Like no, they played, they played mm. it today at nine. Does that did that guy have like a promotion for something? Mm. I don't. Know. I don't. Because like that cool. sounds like that sounds like some clout. Like who the fuck just says that? A rich yeah, but dude, Damian probably. Lillard responded to him too. Exactly, and then like people are like, like check out this guy, and it's like, well, I got a, yeah, I got a crash course crazy. for for FanDuel, at the link below. Um, no, nah, and uh, no, nah, that's what that's what it is. Uh, but yeah, let, let's get it. Let, let's get into the, some UFC. Yo, the Edson Barboza and uh, Shane Burgos one was fire. Mm-hmm. That shit was good as fuck. And them niggas was throwing fucking hands. That's the one that got knocked. But that's but, what you're supposed to do shit. I um, mean, yeah, like the the ref didn't say stop. Mm-hmm. You see a nigga get his arm broke, and that's what that you heard that shit snap. Who was that? Jacare Sosa. Jacare Sosa versus who he fought? Who did he fight? Some fuck know. nigga. I don't know. <laughs> but but arm did break that nigga's arm. Did. <laughs> that shit yeah. was disgusting. Uh, I could I could have sworn there was two arms that broke last night. No. Hmm. Definitely not. I know. So, uh, uh, when that oh, guy arm broke, it, it, it was just normal for him, right? It was just he just walked it off. It's like I mean, just get out. Yeah, nigga just looked at his arm like, all right, fuck it. Yep. It is. Yeah. It is what it is. That shit snapped and that shit was loud as fuck. And that shit was Oh, fucked. and that other that other guy. Oh, it was Tony Ferguson that that Almost got that didn't tap out. Yeah, he'd never tap out, bro. Yeah, that but he his knee, oh, his, his knee fucking almost 
Well, that oh. nigga, the other nigga said that his knee popped, but that fight was fucking oh. boring as fuck. That nigga just grappled with him the whole time. He said he was going to knock Tony Ferguson out. That shit was ass. That nigga is not ready for no top contender fight. That Barry Yush or Derry Yush or I suck Mary Yushi or something. Fucking no, man. But the main event. Chandler? The main event was fired. Uh, fuck Michael Chandler, dog. He a bitch ass nigga. Talking all that noise. He ain't got shit. He ain't got shit. He ain't even. He ain't use his wrestling. He didn't use no transitions. Nothing like that. He had him on the feet. So if he would have stood him up instead of trying to play on the ground with him in the first round, he would have won. Because Oliveira was hurt, dog. Hurt. If I was Michael Chandler, I would have just uh, right there over him. I would have stood up, like get him up. Let's fight, bro. Let's throw hands because he was way stronger than him. You could see it. Every yeah. punch that nigga threw at Oliveira, yeah. Oliveira was hurt, dog. Man, set like a seven piece. That's like, what I'm damn. saying. That's what I'm saying. But then he went to the ground and he stayed on the ground with him. You should got you got to let him up. You got to let him up for that. Uh, yeah. You can't take the punches up top. So why the fuck is you on the ground with him? With and a then once specialist. And then once Chandler tried standing up, that motherfucker got on his back. it was a good ass. Power. Yeah, it was just a good ass fight. I was yeah. really entertained. He just he's got a bunch of power, dog. He's gotta relax. He's mm. gotta relax. Who Chandler? Yeah. Where's where's Oliveira from? Brazil? Yeah. And they were they were there chanting USA and shit. That's all right. Yeah, they were in Texas. That's all right. <laughs> I was going for Oliveira though. Yeah. I don't fuck I don't fuck with Michael Chandler. He's surprise, too cocky or what? surprise. He's like that a Kobe Covington. Yeah. Surprise, like, surprise. He's too cocky? That nigga, he had one fight in the UFC and they gave him a title shot fight. After all, like all that. these people that have been fighting, Dustin Poirier should have had that title shot. Mm, so he's new. Yeah. This is his second oh, fight what? in the UFC. It's but he's been he some hype behind his name right now. Though. Mm-hmm. But, but he was in Bellator or something? Yeah. He was good uh, there, but Bellator's for the losers. Everybody knows that. Ah, uh, Bellator could be for like uh, like up and coming. No, I don't know, man. Demetrius Johnson's over there, loser. Mighty Mouse <laughs> got knocked out his last fight. Oh shit! I I mean I I don't know too much about it, but I just heard like Bellator could be for like up and coming as well, and like maybe that's that's their only way that they can make money, and then because they're not good enough get, to get uh, to the UFC just yet. And you see what yeah, happened? Yeah, not when yet. They, when they upgrade them to the UFC, like Michael Chandler just got knocked out. Mm, so. Right. Damn. Ben Askren, two fights. Ben, ben Askren, two fights out of the UFC. Three fights, I think, right? Three? Oh, dude. oh he beat Robbie Lawler, that's right. So, yeah. so Oliveira's going against who next time? It depends on who wins out of McGregor and Dustin Poirier. When's that fight? June 12th or something like that. Eight. Okay. Okay, a little next month. Yeah. And what do you think Chandler's gonna gonna do after this? Hoping Go back to Bellator? Tired. Nah, he'll fight. He'll fight again. He's number four or something like that. Number four, number five. So he'll How fight. do you get ranked so high when he only won one fight? Because he was all the hype coming in. So he's I Doja Coin? Who he beat too. Oh then he beat uh yeah, he beat Dan Hooker too. Dan Hooker was ranked like number three or something like that. Mm. So that boosted if he was number if he was number seven, that shit jumped his ass all the way up. That's wild. Just taking down the bull, taking down the bull, feeding the family. I mean, uh, and Cowboys going to Super Bowl all day. Uh, anything else? That's it, man. She investment of the yeah, week. Yeah, I ain't watch F one. Oh, did you guys see the schedule? F one. Hell yeah. yeah. I seen it. I ain't worried about it. We got a good ass schedule. That's just Y'all easy. Got a good opening game. I got a good opening game. Fuck the books. <laughs> that's gonna be easy. <laughs> easy. Stop. <laughs> easy word. If it's the same bucks that's coming off from the playoffs, you need to stop if that. It's the right same now. bucks as last year, they lost week one, so that's all right. Stop the cap. Stop I'm the going, cap. I'm going to the game. They, hey, they weren't champions when, no. when they played y'all week one. I should they go to the game, right? All along. How much I think a ticket would be? Nah. Not expensive. Like like three twenty for a, a nosebleed. Three twenty? Nah, man. You got the chance for a good ass seat. You got the chance. Oh yeah, they are doing the Super Bowl rings right there. Wait, what? 
The Brazilian it, Super Bowl shit right there. For real? I think oh, so. Oh man. I I I'll do that shit. I, I I wouldn't mind. Ellie was talking about going um uh tailgating. I was like, uh, that's it. That's why. Yeah, I, I was like, I'm not gonna go to Tampa just to like chill outside. I could do that here. We're like, but they're right there. Like, <laughs> they do cocaine and hookers when I'm in Tampa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, well, uh, you you like your schedule, uh, Frankie? Yeah, we got a fucking game in the UK. That's crazy. Yeah, I've seen that. London game. Yeah. We'll be in fucking we'll be playing the Jags, Trevor Lawrence. This is Nick Hill on Irrational Therapy Podcast. What's up, what's up? What's good, bro? Bro, we over here talking about the NFL schedule. You you, you like you, you like the way your coach gonna take off this year or what? Uh I mean we play we play the, we play five tough people right off rip. Uh oh. But but yeah. Y'all got a little yeah. challenge. Yeah. Carson wets his ass. Tell him. Damn, man, you guys, you, you happy for Zeke being back or Dak being back? Hey, bro. Is he back officially? Yeah. Back in July, right? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. We finna share. We gonna share. We gonna share. Yeah, but but Ozzy and yeah, Ozzy, uh, both my cousins here, Frankie J. Uh, uh, but what's up, bro? Everything good with you? Tell him, tell him I'm asking if he trusts Carson Wentz's knee. <laughs> Who? My 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 Carson cousin. Wentz, the quarterback, the quarterback, his do, knee. Do you, do you, do you trust the quarterback's knee, Carson Wentz? Bro, Carson's gonna be MVP this year, bro. He's gonna be MVP this year, yo. The fuck happened last year? He said, "What well, fuck happened last year?" Bro, he didn't have Frank Wright, our head coach. Last time he had Frank Wright, he was literally about to win MVP till he broke his knee. Frankie said, "Heard that." So is he the reason? Is he the reason? But, uh, we so he said, one of "The best offensive lines in the league, bro. He's coming from one of the worst to the best." And if there's any so quarterback Philip set up for success, it's him. He said, "So did Philip Rivers." So did Philip Rivers. Huh? He said, Phillip "So did Rivers wasn't mobile." Old you can get the Rivers. best O line. What do you need to be mobile for? You got the best O line. What do you need? Be, what do you need to be mobile for? Huh? He said you got the best O line. Why do you need? Why do you need to be mobile for? Oh, and we got the top. And, and we got what the top. John <laughs> Taylor number three. Bro, you, you're, you're talking to a dolphin. So oh, yeah, then it's a relevant. <laughs> Okay, bro. Do we have the same fucking record? He said, "I got the same record." Literally had the closest records last year. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 In defense and defense alone, bro. Our defenses were neck and neck the whole season. <laughs> no, we led the league in interceptions. Sorry, nine of them. I got respect. Count them. Count them. Xavier Howard. Xavier Howard. Uh, uh, whoever has a week 14 draft is going to the Super Bowl or a week 14 bye and uh, the Colts and the Dolphins have it. That's right. That's right. All right. He said he, he said he's speechless. <laughs> no. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> no, but, uh, no, but everything good, bro? Yeah, bro. Can't complain. Yeah, uh, 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 I'm going to wrap up this episode soon. I'm going to hit you up in a little bit. All right, though? All right, bro. You easy. All right, though. Peace. Nah, you got schooled, bro. Schooled? What are you talking that, about? That. I had something for him every time. Yeah, I know. That's that. That's the homie He's Nick. a Colts uh, fan, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we're both gotta, in the AFC. Don't faith. leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I was like... <laughs> Now, um, so yeah, I, I just feel like NFC got got the easy got got, got the easy road this this time around. It's NFC. always been like that. What are you talking about? You think Washington was in the fucking playoffs and they won oh. like four games? I the think. only good team in the AFC for the past ten years have been the Patriots because of Tom Brady. Stop! Come Stop. on, man. That's been the only good team in the AFC. Who else has been competing with the AFC? 
besides the Chiefs well, because that they just they just pulled them up. The Patriots Baltimore. been running that board. Joe Flacco's been there the last ten years. But the, the Patriots Steelers been running that board. Ben, ben Roethlisberger. The Patriots still running that board at the end of the season. Okay, then I can say Pittsburgh because Ben Roethlisberger has been the quarterback for the past twenty years. Yeah, but they, they've, they been, they've against, been pretty subpar. When they they've go up the, against the Brady, best. what happens? When they went up, yeah, when anybody went Patriots. up against Patriots and, a, and a Brady, that's it, bro. I'm just answering your question. I, Ozzie, I didn't ask Ozzie. what's up, bro. Are you, you said what was the next hey. best team? And what? Are you pooping? No, I'm with the baby. Oh, yeah, he's pooping with the baby in his lap. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, we finna wrap this up. All right, y'all. I'm sorry that yeah, 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 I can't debate anymore about NFC and AFC who had an easier life. I feel like I, NFC got it easier this this time around, which is fair. And AFC last had it easier. Not AFC had it easier last year, I feel. Uh, but uh, that's it for Irrational Therapy. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for listening. Uh, shout out to Nick. Go and visit his his, uh, his shop. It's located in Lehigh. Follow his his uh, food truck. The the link's going to be down below. I love each and every one of y'all. Uh, y'all got anything else to tell the people? Watch your hand. Watch your ass. Have a good week. Have a good week. Hey, Kathy, we still uh, anticipating you to be on. Nah, uh, fuck that, Kathy. Hell no. Nah. Fuck you and whatever you're doing, nigga, because I don't text your punk ass and you ain't answer back. Fuck that. Hey, and that other, uh, I want I, I want to get Brandon on, too. I want to get Brandon on. Nah, and, uh, we ain't getting that nigga on here, man. All right, bro. All right. Hell and no. uh, It's all right. <laughs> I, 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 how about uh, that other chick? Ba- uh, I forget her name. Ban- Banquelia. You, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Banquelia. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but she was saying that she want to get irrational, so we could get her on, yo. That should be fun. That's probably Cat. All right. Well, whatever. Uh, but uh, And Nick's Hill uh, food truck is called On the Block. So make sure you go follow that Facebook page on the block on in Lehigh Acres. So uh, that's pretty much it for each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for listening. Uh, stay true to what is you. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I love y'all. Peace in the Middle East. Let it rain in Spain. We out. Boom. <laughs>